Jeff from Leicester. Hello, Scotty. How are you doing, sir? Fine. Two things. Yes, sir. Pregnancy. Pregnancy. You've all been blaming the girls, but what about the boys? Don't they carry a part in this? Well, the boys can't do anything if the girls won't let them pass the old Scotty McClue party pants. Ah, but education plays an important part, and it begins with the parents. But is education for or against? Well... I mean, tell me this. See, for instance, here's a thought for you. Yes. See, for instance, you never, ever told a child a single thing about the bits and pieces, getting up the duff, right? Yep. What the opposition had under the gear. You never said a word. Do you think kids would still work out how to do the one-two buckle my shoe? I'm not sure. I mean... <laughs> I think they would, because they'd, they'd, they'd want to know about it, wouldn't they? So they'd go out and try it. So if they're not educated about it... How do you mean you'd go... Out to yeah, but wait a minute. How do you mean you'd go out and try it if you didn't know what to do? Well, there's magazines. No, no magazines, no telly, right? Yeah. Right, no Scotty McClue's megaphone in, right? <laughs> All yeah. that, now stop all jumping up and down shouting, Oh, that would be a good idea, right? No Scotty McClure's megaphone in, no tabloid newspapers, no page three with some bud with a thropney bits out, right? Yeah. None of that. No British bottom cream. Well, they wouldn't know what to do, so they wouldn't have sex, would they? Um, we... No, but do you, you, you reckon they'd still manage it, but I don't know that they would. So maybe we should go back, because I'll tell you, we had no sex education in school. But you know how to do it. Only recently. Recently. <laughs> That's my point. We've got to educate the young ones right and wrong. But what, do we need to mention sex at all? Why don't we just go, shh, 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 if you wish you talk, it's just going to be one of them things, isn't it? It's got to be discussed openly. Well, why? Well, it's us. It's no, come on, why, why, it's why not? discussed openly. Yeah, but why? Well, why? Why don't we just... Well, why did a 12-year-old get pregnant? Because she, she said... She wanted to. Yeah, she said... Let's, no, well, I'm not saying she wanted to. What I'm saying is the bloke said, oh, I've tried contraceptives, I've tried condoms, I don't like them. We both understood that not using condoms could get you pregnant, but we carried on. Now, he wouldn't have done that if he didn't know how to do it. And she wouldn't have done that if she didn't know the consequences properly. Well, she obviously did. Look, he's actually said it. We both understood that not using condoms could get you pregnant, but we carried on. So she understood the consequences, but yeah. she still still decided to do it. That's a fair comment. That's a responsibility, isn't it? It's, you've got to educate children to be responsible for their actions. Yeah, but I mean, I mean, you know, they think it's a game. They're playing doctors. It's a cross between doctors and nurses and woo, isn't this nice? Now, maybe, yes, you see, I mean, they're just children themselves, for heaven's sake. Yeah. And we're, we're not adhering to the law. But it's down to the parents, isn't it, to educate them right from wrong? Yeah, but they're not doing it. If the parents, it's great to say it's down to the parents, but if the parents were doing it, this wouldn't happen. So what I'm saying is, wouldn't we be better saying nothing? Oh, shh, 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 Well, in that case, maybe. But you, you've, still got to be, you've still got to educate your children from right and wrong, haven't you? Yes, but all I'm saying is, you know, the difference, the, the way to do it with sex is to say, not absolutely flaming not. Okay, we'll de debate on that later. Second issue, the war. Yes. Now, yes. a lot of people lost, lost their lives so we can have freedom. Yes. And well, we've we got freedom. Like that. We've got freedom. Yes, but we wouldn't have had freedom if they hadn't to fight for it. Right. And if we could have had his way and won the war, you wouldn't have had your TV pro uh, sorry, radio program today. Well, I might have had. It was just I've been. I would have been. You've been too censored. It would have been censored. No, it much. wouldn't. No, it would have been Z Scotty McClue for me. No, it wouldn't have been because... And I would just have come on and said, Achtung, and everybody would have phoned in. It would have been with, too... a, with a click of the heels. So, in other words, it wouldn't have been voluntary. It would have been compulsory. Yeah, and you've been told what you can and cannot discuss. I would have said, this is Z Scotty McClue, phone in. You will phone now. And you'd be, you'd be censored so much, people wouldn't have been able to get the freedom right. How oh, do you mean? Well... Look at the issues you've discussed over the years. Yes. Some of the issues you'd have been shot for. Well, and I wouldn't have been able to discuss them. 
But you know what I'm, you know what I'm saying? We're going to respect those people who died for our freedom. Yes, I can't understand where you're coming from on that, though. Well, if there's another war... Yes. The Brits would be out there again to fight for freedom. Yes. And that's what it's all about, isn't it? Yes. Freedom. Yes. So, so are, you say, are you saying that there's no fun ins in Germany, then? Well, there is now. Yeah. But if Hitler uh, uh, had his way and won the war, there wouldn't have been. Well, how do you know that? You don't know what Hitler's policy on radio phone ins was. Well, his policy was if you strike against him, you'd be shot. If you was handicapped, you'd be shot. If you was a Jew, you'd be killed. That was if you was black, you'd be killed. He was a racist person. And <laughs> there'd, be, there'd have been just Germans running the country. Yeah, but they'd have got fed up and gone home by now. Well, like the, Rom they? the Romans went home, didn't they? They got fed up. That's because we fought them back, didn't we? No, no, we didn't. All we did was run out in our in our bear skin, in our birthday suits, do you know, absolutely <laughs> naked as the day we were born, and shout, Aah! and the Romans said, Oi, you do that again, I will spear you, eh? And we get a spear up of your... Uh, do you know? But we stood up to them. Yes. And that's what we did. We in all our wars. What they said was, you'll get an axe up your beauty. Yes, but rather than a spear up your... Is that right? Yeah, but isn't that what Britain's all about? What? Standing up for your right. Well, we only go as far as the wall. And then the oh, Romans... Well, he stood did something. Hey, uh, you'll go back now, eh? You stand up for your right, and you'll win. Well, you just said you won't. You will if you stand up for it, won't you? Well, Hitler stood up for his rights. He didn't win, did he? He's uh, dead. His rights was wrong, though, wasn't he? His rights was wrong, but some of our rights might be wrong. They are wrong, but we still... Well, you can't go. right a wrong with a wrong, with a wrong can you? Well, I don't know. I mean, you can't get your wrong rights. Against the Germans, didn't you we? can't. You can get your rights wrong, but you can't get your wrong rights. But we didn't take the attitude of going around killing innocent Jews. No. And we didn't take the attitude of killing black. No. It's because the colour of the skin. No. No. But that's what Germany was, Hitler was all about. But there's still racist people about, isn't there? Oh, yes. They're very racist. Hey, so we haven't managed to eradicate racism, have we? Not yet. But we're getting there, aren't we? Yes. And the country is now standing up and saying racist must be struck out. Yes. So we're getting there. Yes. And it's only because of people like yourself who will stand out and be spoken these views. But, I mean, that's after 60 years, so don't you think it's taking a long time? Yes, it's taking time. Do you still think this is the best country in the world, though? Of course we are. There you are, then. There's so, nothing wrong with Britain. So these men did not lay down their lives in vain? No, they did not. They fight for this country. And, they'll do it, and we would do it again if we was pushed to or needed to. What, what about the fact that we're going to go into Europe and that makes it all dinky-doo? No, no, we should never go into Europe. Why not? No, 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 we should stay British. Why? We're better off British. Do you reckon? I know so. I'm a true Brit. But look at all these other countries that have gone into Europe and they've got a few quid. So we've got a few quid, we're not poor. We're not too bad, are we? No, we're better off. Well, the biggest mistake we had was that flipping channel tunnel. The channel tunnel? We should never have had it. Well, have you used it? I won't use it. Well, there you are then. We don't need it. We don't need it. We're not an island no more, are we? Not really, no, but I mean, you know, we we had lost command of the sea and air power had come in, so we're within striking distance now anyway. We're only really an island when the when the Royal Navy had command of the sea in the days of Lord Nelson. No, we're still The Battle of Trafalgar, 1805. Cape Finisterre. We should Camperdown, never... 1797. We should stay St. Vincent, true Cape St. Vincent. Have you ever been to Cape St. Vincent? No. Beautiful. Absolutely gone. One of the finest spots I've been. We should stay British. It was on, it was at Cape St. Vincent that I actually decided to become a broadcaster. Well, you did a good thing. Thank you. Thank right, you. I'll let you go. Hey, I'll let you go. Okay. I salute you. Please, Scotty. Hey, dinky do. Dinky do. Dinky do. Right. Is this country the greatest? Let us know. The numbers are...